so today is going to be a first impressions video on Jeunesse Envy products. I was sent a beautiful package to test out the other day and it's a spray your makeup on your face airbrush system. So obviously I wanted to try this first impressions for you guys. You guys have been requesting more of these types of videos from me so I decided to test this product out for you guys. I'll be basically showing you guys all three of these products. There is the foundation, the primer, and the bronzer. How I put it on, how it works throughout the day for me, and basically this is the finished look. So you'll be able to see how I got this look. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video because it's going to be a fun one. All right, so I am barefaced and ready to try on this makeup. I am freaking excited about it. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys what came in the package before I started. It came with this like head wrap to just wrap around, I guess, so you don't spritz your hair. It came with um, two little puffs. I got this super cool swatch card so I could swatch out my colors. So you have nine colors available in the range and they range from light, medium to dark and it's kind of like these see-through swatches where you can put them over your skin to gauge which color you are. So the two colors that I were sent were in the medium range and I tested out my skin tone and I think the N4 Cool Buff is what's going to work out really well for me. So I have that here. I was sent W5 Warm Sand which I'm guessing will be really good for summer and N4 Cool Buff, which I think is good for my like, not tan skin right now. We will be starting off with the primer and finishing off with the bronzer. So this is super exciting. I am going to jump back in here because I just realized now with the spray, it's probably not a good idea to be wearing a cute sweater. Let me go and put on a tank top and I'll put my hairband on and Let's get going testing this out. All right, so I'm back. I'm wearing a headband, I'm wearing a tank top, and I was just going over a few of their tips and tricks to apply this, so I wanted to go over this with you. So they say you can mist for an airbrush look. You can apply with a sponge for a more opaque finish. Apply with your fingers for a more natural look. And then they say you can also squirt some like in your hand and use some as concealer, because God knows I need concealer right now. You can apply with a foundation brush, and for contouring, you can also use the bronzer for contouring. So we're gonna try all of this today. This product is buildable, so they say one layer is light, two layers is medium, and three layers is a really good finish. So I guess we'll see as we go with that. Right now, I am fully moisturized. This product is supposed to be hydrating as well, so we will see how it looks. So uh, let me just start off with the prime. So they say to hold the bottle eight inches away from your face. So, and apply, cool, in a zigzag motion. So primer is on. Feels really nice actually. Now that the primer's done, let's jump right into the foundation. I am excited about this because if this is something that works, this will save a lot of time on my makeup routine. So they say keep this eight inches away from your face, spray in a zigzag motion. Now I wanna do it with the airbrush. I do have my puff ready because in between sprays, you're supposed to set with the puffer. It also says if it is too close to your, if you're spraying too close to your face, it'll the product will look wet. So let's keep an eye out for that. So cross our fingers this works because my living room. <laughs> there could be a disaster on white furniture. All right, let's do this. Okay, so that is layer number one. It doesn't seem wet, but let's go in and pat it in. Definitely, I need more coverage than the first layer. See how this is really good coverage for someone that doesn't wear as much foundation. I do like a nice full coverage foundation. The color is actually perfect. I love the color. I do have some makeup on my band. So this is, it's actually pretty good because it got it down to my neck so you don't get any, you don't get any like markings of regular foundation. All right, so let's just show you guys close up. This is the light finish. So this is what the coverage would look like if I were to stop at just one, which I will not. So let's go for spray number two. Okay, this is definitely more the type of coverage that is up my alley. I don't actually think I need a third coverage. I think three would be perfect for a night out, but I think for daytime, which is basically what I'm doing today, I think two is more than enough. Oh wow, this is really a nice foundation. My skin looks 
flawless right now. I'm gonna try and put a freeze frame or screenshot of what I looked like before I put this on so you guys can see just a side by side. I really like this so far. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm gonna put my concealer on and um, I need to go in with my with the bronzer after so let me go conceal and I'll come right back and we'll do the bronzer test All right, so I am back and I'm concealed um, I pulled my hair back in a ponytail because I realized I was getting a bit of spray on my hair and I'm only on second day I don't want to um, Wash it. Let's jump right in. So I am fully concealed now. We're gonna go in with the bronzer We're gonna see what this looks like. This is only supposed to be one layer for a nice finished glow But we're also supposed to contour with this so I am excited to check out this contouring effect So I do have the puff that I just used for my foundation I have a second clean puff here, which is exactly what I'm going to use for the bronzer So again, they say to hold it 8 to 10 inches away from your face. So let's bronze ourselves this bronzer is super nice. It looks super natural. But for contouring, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spritz some on my hand. This is just what the bronzer looks like. And I'm going to go in with my puff pad and go in and contour. And because I'm pregnant, I need to contour. Like, it's legit. It's something I can't get out of the house without contouring because I definitely have a prego chubby face right now. I mean, in my defense, I am nine months pregnant. <laughs> okay, so the cheeks are contoured. Look how nice that looks. It's a great contour. I'm gonna need, I'd say probably one more spritz just for my, I'll do my hairline and I'll do the sides of my nose. Guys, this looks super natural. Okay, now this is next level. I look like a bronzed goddess. Okay, so this is the finished application of the foundation and the bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and I will check back with you guys as soon as my makeup is done. Let's see if it stands the test of an entire day. This foundation and bronzer is supposed to work for eight to 10 hours. So I will put that to its maximum test. So it's now 10 a.m. But first let me finish my makeup, show you guys the finished full look. I really hope this makeup looks as good in eight to 10 hours as it does now because I will literally be switching my foundation and bronzer to this. The finish is flawless. My skin looks impeccable. And literally because it's a spray, it went all the way down to my chest, so there's no lines, there's nothing. Everything about it is perfect. The color was perfect, the bronzer was perfect, the finish look is perfect. All I really did, it actually saved a lot of time on my makeup also because all I needed to do once I applied all that was concealer, set my concealer, my eye makeup, and that was pretty much it. Put some blush and highlight on, lipstick, and I was done. I am not going to touch up all day long. That is how seriously committed I am to this test. All right, so it is currently 7 p.m., so I'm checking in for end of day just to show you guys the makeup. I am right in front of a window, so it's full on daylight. You can see everything with this face. I have not touched up all day, including uh, lipstick, as you can see, and I'm really close up so you guys can really see, like, this makeup really held up well. I honestly, guys, I think this is my new favorite foundation. Like, look how nice, like, you guys are really close up right now. And I was at the hospital all day. It was overly hot. It was super uncomfortable, and yet it still looks this good. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, and I'm super impressed. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to thumbs up so I know that you guys are loving these first impressions. And I don't think I have anything else to say besides I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mm.